So, the police are chasing this woman, and she's running as fast as she can. Suddenly, she starts taking off her pants. Her name's Chase, and she is a yoga teacher who lives in Texas with her boyfriend, Colin, a professional cyclist sponsored by Red Bull. Their relationship has been on and off, but it's getting serious now, until Chase starts to get suspicious that Colin might be cheating. Chase sneaks into his social media and email accounts and discovers he's still talking to his ex, Mo, who is also a cyclist. Chase secretly blocks Mo's number on Colin's phone, thinking it's over, but after a while, her suspicions return. She checks again and finds out Colin's still chatting with Mo and hiding the evidence by deleting texts. Even worse, because Mo is coming to town for a cycling event and Colin plans to hang out with her. Chase tracks their location through a fitness app that Mo uses to log her workouts, and through that app, she sees that Mo and Colin and go for a swim together. Chase follows Colin to Moe's friend's house, where Moe is staying. She sneaks inside, finds Moe in the bathroom, and confronts Moe with a pew-pew. About a half hour goes by, and the friend Moe is staying with comes home. She finds Moe on the bathroom floor. She calls 911, but it's too late. The next day, by sheer coincidence, the police arrest Chase, but not because she unalived someone with a pew-pew. Turns out she has an outstanding warrant for a minor theft from years ago. During questioning, they realize a typo in her birth date invalidates the warrant, so they let her go. Then, Chase sells her Jeep, flies to New York, and uses her sister's credit card and passport to fly to Costa Rica. While in Costa Rica, Chase tries to forget her troubles. She teaches yoga, changes her look with several haircuts and a nose job, but after 43 days, U.S. Marshals find her and bring her back to Texas, but it is not over because Chase is determined to bust out. So she's back in U.S. jailed and awaiting trial for over a year. During that time, Chase plans her escape. One day she's like, ouch, I got a leg injury. Can you take me to the medical facility? And she gets a trip to a doctor in the city. After the appointment, she runs for it. Someone catches it on camera, and there she is running. She strips off her pants, revealing a thermal underwear, trying to disguise herself. But she's recaptured while climbing a fence. Finally, Chase goes to trial. She's found guilty of first-degree murder and is sentenced to nine years in prison. 